Chris, why haven't you been in the videos lately? I have been in uh, New York City. You can catch me in the fabulous world of Candytopia. <laughs> Right next to um, Penn Station. All right, well, since you've been gone, here's, since you've been gone! here's the official Chris merchandise. <laughs> and that is all yours. Think of what you started. One little word. Seven spoopy AT6U! Spoopy! Too spoopy for you. Whoa! I love this. Hi, Chris, where are we currently right now? Epcot. Chris, wh wh what's going on right now? Okay, the pins here are out of this world. We're gonna need a shopping cart. I need this, 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 and I need all ten of these. I need them right now. What's the total right now? All right, 220 and 33 cents. All right, this is what almost $250 worth of pins looks like. Bam, look at that. A whole week's paycheck right there. All right, now we gotta do the Remy scavenger hunt. What's the review on this year's map? It's great, it's really cute. You can open it up, it doesn't take up all the space in your bag or your pocket, you can slip it right in. The little design on the cutout is really cute. I really like the prize this year, we'll see it at the end I hope. All right, time for the most lit place in Epcot. All right, Chris, what's the saddest news we've ever heard? This beautiful um, uh, flight, the phosphorescent flight, I believe it's called, is not alcoholic, so, What's the point? Why is it not alcoholic? Yeah. It's for kids friendly, man. All right, so the beaker's no more. The experiment has ended. That experiment is over. What is our new experiment? It is the phosphorescent flight. We have blue raspberry grape and coconut, all with light up ice cubes. Describe what's going on with this experiment. Okay, so this experiment, we have our strawberry puree and test tubes that we put on the bottom, then we put our cotton candy on top. And then we take our super top secret vanishing liquid, we pour it right on top of the mixture, and watch what happens to the cotton candy. Oh. Here's your freeze. It definitely tastes like cotton candy. It's just like liquid cotton candy is what it is. All right, honest review. They're good. It's just literally three slushies in cups, and they put cubes in it. It's like, I don't think this one's even on. So you're like drinking, and you're like, ooh, what is in there? And you realize it's a blood cube. You like wanted to get like a week of Keith's apple juice intake in a few minutes. Apple juice! Take like a few sips of this uh, particular one. It's nice and glowing. It looks kind of like a Navi excrement, perhaps. My ew. Wow. And it's time for my favorite stand, New Zealand. All right, Megan, what is he about to drink? A uh, Pinot Noir red wine. How much alcohol is in it? It's <laughs> a 13% alcohol. <laughs> so it's really good. All right, then I got one of my favorite things here at Food & Wine, the mussels, because I have such big ones, right, Chris? Let's show a flashback. I lost to my mom! Mm, mm, mm. It's like it, don't just give me a dance. It is, there's breadcrumbs yes. with the muscly goodness. All right, Chris got the uh, the venison sausage. It has kumara puree. I don't know what that is, and the wild mushroom marsala sauce, which looks, smells really good. Venison yerne. Venison has like a little bit of like something in it. Peppercorns or like some fat or something, and there's like little pieces of it. It's very good. Wait, wait, can we wait for her? We're doing Welcome to Italia. Welcome to Italy. Italy. <laughs> Hey Chris, what am I doing that you're a little upset? Uh, you're getting a normal slice of pizza during food and wine. I know this is gonna fill me, yeah. and I'm gonna wait to try the foods when I get my discounts during the weekdays. Oh so it's kind of a waste of time. Of time, he's wasting my time Re here. Reclaiming my time. Corner piece all the way back. Yeah, that one. This is the, the hidden bench of Disney. Look how beautiful this is. It's brand new. Bam! That looks like a piece of pizza. More than a piece of pizza, Chris. Is. Mm. Oh my god. Alright, the new Vianopoli quick service pizza at 10 out of 10. Best bang for your buck pizza in all of Disney quick World. Quick service. It's quick service. Quick service? We spent about a half hour there. I feel what, what's frustrating is nobody knows this is Remy. Do you know his name? Ratatouille. Oh. They just yell, oh, ratatouille. Ratatouille is the name of the food that he cooks. And we were looking for ingredients for ratatouille all day. And they were hidden all around the countries of the World Showcase. What are you currently drinking? It's a 10 year aged dessert wine. It's a sweet wine, you're gonna like it. It's very sweet. Isn't it sweet? Oh, that is gross. It's very sweet. That is gross. I think it's. That tastes like balsamic vinaigrette. Taste. <laughs> anyway, this is um, a raspberry chocolate tort. 
Okay. It's like a very light dark chocolate flavor. It has like a very creamy flavor. And the raspberry sauce is pretty sweet. Alrighty, everybody. What just happened? Spoilers, but. Okay, right, first we're gonna show all the Remy's. Show all the Remy's. The complete map. Spoilers. Yeah, boy. Time to go get your collectible little prize now, buddy. Yeah, boy. Here. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I love Big Men. Is that gonna go with the rest of your 37 collectible cups? Get out of here, you can leave. Chris, we are currently lost in the Epcot parking lot. Yes, uh, welcome to the uh, self-guided uh, tour of the Epcot parking lot, which is, I believe it was the third largest parking lot in the world, besides the Queen of Prussia one, and then I think that there's one in Abu Dhabi that has now surpassed it, but it's quite large. I think it's the largest one. Um, Can we just get fast passes? You know what? I think Chesterton Hester did the parking lot better. Uh, this is a little more well-maintained, though. Yeah, but, I mean, the theme just tells me parking lot. I don't know what the story of it or the history of it is. I think we make the story. Oh, I see. Where dreams come true. Just like in Fantasyland, when you are portraying the characters in the dark ride, <laughs> you are actually the person lost and looking for your car. One eternity later. Oh, I'm so sad that the ride is now over because we finally found our car. What a shame. I was hoping to spend more time in this detailed, immersive environment. Every single drunk person in Epcot is here right now. They're gonna get their margaritas, Chris. 